Jonas. I'm John Johnson Agustin uh, with the marketing division of the SM Super Malls. Um, we'd like to welcome you to Art for Everyone, a project of the SM Super Malls launching here today at SM Mega Mall. It will be here for the weekend, uh, February 27 to 28. And um, we really just wanted to be able to bring art closer to the people, particularly uh, because art has always been um, available for the in galleries or in museums. And this is one way of bringing it much closer to a bigger public and allowing this public to be able to appreciate also the art, to allow the art to talk to them and also to be able to see the type of emotion that went into creating these art pieces. Um, it's an art fair, so most of the pieces are all for sale uh, for the next two days. We're going to be having this, aside from Mega Mall, there will be three other malls in Metro Manila, which namely SM City North Edsa, SM South Mall, and SM Aura Premier. And likewise in the Visayas, we will have it in SM City Cebu, and in Davao, we will have it in SM Lanang Premier. So it's really something uh, that is for everyone, something that we would like um, the public to, to be able to see. Um, the pieces here at Mega Mall were uh, properly curated and properly chosen by uh, our curatorial consultant, Dr. Patrick Flores. He helped us out in um, ensuring that we will be able to achieve the objective um, of being able to bring the art down to the public, something that they will be able to enjoy. Um, we've also been working with um, several galleries uh, that Dr. Flores has also been able to uh, uh, suggest to us and recommend to us. And I believe it's been a really um, enriching experience, not only for us, but more importantly for uh, the shoppers of the SMC. Sir, can you name some of the artists? Uh, I will have in this. Oh, sorry, we'll have to ah, okay. Um, uh, uh, what, can... what, what I can say, what I can say though, is that um, the the art pieces really try to feature mostly um, those that who are up and coming today. You know? And then in some of the in some of the other malls, we have a few pieces from um, some of the more experienced artists. Sir, I read somewhere na parang all Filipino artists po. Yes, they're all Filipino artists. Mm -hmm. And most of them are based here in the Philippines or meron din for based abroad? Well, from our knowledge, most of them are really based here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give us an estimate kung ano po yung mga range ng prices ng mga... Well, I think the more, the more affordable ones are really from the in the areas of about... We have some that are at 2,500 and 5,000. Some range up into the level of the 20,000 and 30,000. And of course, there are some that range into the hundreds of thousands. Is this the first time that uh, SM did this uh, particular um, event? It, it's not the first time that SM has gone into, the SM Super Malls have gone into um, supporting or uh, basically showcasing art in our malls. Um, they have, it has been done many times and in very big projects. But I think what's significant about Art for Everyone is that it is this year is that this is the start of something that we would like to be doing on a yearly basis, wherein we will really have an art fair that will be able to bring the art closer to the people, allow the people to buy it, and primarily put it in their homes. So this will be the first Art for Everyone, Makaharam for next year, Ole? Yes, we are looking at making mm. it a yearly event. Mm, okay. And... Uh, by next year, po, diba, right now, there's, I think there's six malls diba? yes. ongoing uh, at the same time. Yes. Uh, do you plan to expand it to other malls? Actually, that's, that's one of the bigger intentions that we have. You know? mm -hmm. um, by next year, when we do this again, uh, we will have um, 61 malls already. So mm -hmm. it is really the intention to bring it to as many malls as possible. Because um, for one thing about the SM Super Malls is that we're actually able to um, really reach out to our public. Uh, we bring in about three and a half to, to close to four million people every day into the into the SM Super Malls um, system, and this is something that uh, we are able to do, um, you know, very well. Particularly because um, consumers or our shoppers really feel that there is an enriching experience or a differentiating experience 
that they have when they come to the walls. Um, and bringing the art to them is another way of us to be able to enhance that experience. So, do you also recommend this for the youth? Uh, oh yes, uh, we recommend it actually for everyone, um, from the youth to basically um, even the older generation, particularly to come and take a look at uh, the art. Because art really is something that should be appreciated by everyone. Yeah, because I saw some of the paintings na there's Batman, there's Superman yeah. images. <laughs> in fact, uh, if you take a look at some of the paintings in the back, it's actually uh, inspired by SM Megamon. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, sir, uh, please invite them. Yes, yeah, so again, uh, we would like to invite uh, everyone um, today and tomorrow uh, in six of our malls, um, you know, here in Metro Manila, Cebu, and Davao to enjoy art for everyone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Sure. Sir, uh, ano po naming niya? Uh, I believe you're one of the artists dito sa Art for Everyone. Yes, I was invited by uh, Anton Magpantay, the organizer. Organizer. And sir, ano po yung mga pieces ninyo and saan po siya nakadisplay? What particular branch ng SM? Well, actually, naka-exhibit yung mga works ko dati sa SMBF, Sukat. Mm -hmm. And I'm na market room because we have a lot of yung That's what we And right now, ngayon pong February 27 to 28, we're planning to have an exhibition again sa SM, pero back sa SM Center, Art Center. SM Art Center, what? Ano po yun? Mart Edsa? Here, here, here. Here in Mega Mall. Here in Mega Mall. Mm, okay. Uh, can you name some of the pieces na you display po ninyo for sale? Uh, I have a one painting. It's about the life of a farmer in, in the province. And the title is uh, Ipe and Dagul. That's, Dagul is the carabao and Ipe is the farmer. I named it to para to give a story. Yung mga, farmers uh, provinces. Okay. 
Uh, what kind po yung, ano po medium ng painting ninyo, sir? Uh, More on what? Canvas, acrylic on canvas. Acrylic. But you also do other mediums, for example, watercolor. Yeah, watercolor, pastel, charcoal, mm -hmm. marker, marami. But uh, what's your favorite? Uh, acrylic. Acrylic po. And what would you consider your your best work as of the moment? Uh, I have my one of my private collection. Uh, the title niya is Gen uh, Wild Wing. That's my favorite. It's, it's about what? It's about uh, medyo may pagka uh, uh, it's about the society yung genre genre ng everyday life scene mm. And sir, do you think that mga exhibits na ganito does it help the Filipino artists in? Yeah, of course mm. uh, Napakalaking bagay yung mga ganito nag-organize ng show para sa mga artists kasi ang artists lagi lang nasa studio yan pero pag binigyan mo ng break na magkaroon ng nag-organize ka ng isang exhibit doon niya maipapakita yung trabaho do you, do you think that marami na po yung nagbibigay ng gato opportunities or kailangan pa natin kulang pa? Well actually SM is one of the best supporter of art here in the Philippines. Siya lang ang, siya lang ang office, uh, siya lang ang department store, uh, napakaraming art gallery, lalo na dito sa Mega Mall. Very supportive sa art. Okay. So, uh, what do you think, uh, kasi sa generation po ngayon kasi, di ba, most of the, the new artists are using digital na po, di ba? Oh and nagiging online na po siya. Do you think, you still think that uh, it's the best medium po pa rin is mga acrylic, watercolor, or mga digital graphics na? Well, actually, there are some artists using digital artworks. Pero, the market there is not so popular than using canvas. Kasi mm -hmm. yun yung traditional painting. Pero accepted naman yung mga digital art sa, mga, sa ibang collectors. Mm. But if, if they, will, they will ask you, uh, what would you recommend po for mga beginning artists, mga new artists that want to do the similar things? Well, actually, doon sa mga batang artists, kailangan mag-experiment sila from different mediums, mm. lalo na kaya ng watercolor, Pastel, charcoal, uh, mixed media, assemblage, uh, sculpture, ang dami sa, ang dami ng fields ng art na pwede mong bigyan ng attention para magawa mo yung iba't ibang klase ng art. You mentioned kanina na SM is a big help alert to, to mga artists ko, di ba? In promoting your works. How about from the government, nagbibigay po ba na assistance ng government sa mga well, artists natin? Dito sa institution here in uh, malapit sa Intramuros, NCCA yun. They're giving, they're giving funds yung mga artists na walang capital para magkaroon ng exhibition. They give funds from the artists. Tsaka they preserve they preserve our culture, they protect, protect our culture, you know, the NCC, National Commission of Culture and Arts. Yes, sir. Ayun, tama. Yeah, I also support them. Eh. So, sir, can you invite them to come visit the, the event? Yeah. Please come visit this exhibition. There are uh, so many good artists who uh, join this exhibition. And it's very important for the artist to uh, view the mga bagong trabaho nila para lalo mo inspire mga trabaho. Pilipinas.
kahit saan ka mang panig Huwa sa Pilipinas Pagkain man o pagyaman Biyahin man kung saan saan Kahit na sino pa ang iyong angkan Huwa sa Pilipinas Huwa sa Pilipinas Halina at ibutin ang ating mundo Huwa sa Pilipinas Amin ibibigay ang inyong gusto What's up Pilipinas? Ang show na ito'y para lang sa inyo What's up Pilipinas? Tutok na sa What's up Pilipinas Ibutin ang mundo, kainin ang gusto Alamin ng tamang daan kung paano ang umaseso Kasama ang buong trauma ng What's up Pilipinas Amin ibibigay sa madla at ipamadanas Ang saya ng What's up Pilipinas Tutok na sa What's up Pilipinas Ang saya dito sa Pilipinas Ihahatid sa inyo ng What's up Pilipinas